I'm sorry, Jim, I I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. I'm going to stop other things. I like PBS. I love Big Bird. I actually like you, too. But I'm not going to keep on spending money on things to borrow money from China to pay for. Those comments have caught many people's attention. And that includes those who work tirelessly to inform all of us of the important social and educational issues. Local 5's Chris Schuer live with us in the studio with more on that. Chris. Tom, when Mitt Romney told that national TV audience he would pull federal support for the public broadcasting system, it, it really struck home for a pair of uh, local filmmakers. It was just one thought in a 90-minute debate, but after Mitt Romney talked of this idea for trimming the federal deficit... I'm sorry, Jim. I I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. I'm going to stop other things. I like PBS. I love Big Bird. Independent filmmakers Alex Zacharias... It is a slap in the face to uh, many in the community. ...and Eileen Liddick were left shocked. It was very hurtful when I heard that. For the past 30 years, Lydic has been producing educational programming for Wisconsin Public Television. Documentaries like The Hidden Homeless, a project following four homeless teens in the Midwest. When you produce a documentary for public television, what you are doing is you are a witness to what's happening. And then you are hopeful that the people will discuss it and maybe do something about the issue. Zacharias has followed the same path the past 10 years. He says viewers of public broadcasting trust Big Bird to teach their children their ABCs and make that known by the monies they contribute to PBS, roughly $6 for every $1 of federal funding. They're getting a, a lot that it, that's an investment to the future, and it's an investment to education. And while Mitt Romney appears to be gunning for Big Bird... But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep on spending money on things to borrow money from China to pay for it. Zacharias hopes that the public comes to the aid of PBS. What, what I hope happens is that the community will make an outcry. It doesn't matter what political affiliation you're in, everybody trusts PBS. And today, the uh, chief executive officer of PBS, Paula Kerger, said it was, quote, stunning that Romney would single out her network during that debate, saying this isn't about a budget, rather simply politics. Live in the studio, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News HD.